Hi everybody. In this video, I would like to take you through the steps of creating something we call a layer mask in Pixlr. So we're going to start here at the uh, the home screen of Pixlr. We're using Pixlr E, and what we're going to do is I've already searched online for a background image that I'm going to use. So I've saved it to my computer. I'm going to go to Open Image, and I'm going to navigate to find it. Mine is called Paint Palette. So there we are, right there. I'm going to click Open. And what I have here is a picture of a messy painter's palette. And I'm going to use this for the uh, layer masking that we're going to do here. So what I want to do first is take this background layer. I'm going to right click the layer and go to this icon down here, which means duplicate. So I will have two of the same exact background layers. I'm going to take the bottom layer and I want to turn that one black and white. You'll see why in a, in a bit, but let's just do that first. So I'm going to go to adjustment. While I'm on the background layer selected, go to adjustment and auto black and white. Looks like nothing happened, but you can see in the layer menu that it turned black and white. And if I hide this top layer, there we go. We've got a black and white layer and a color layer. So what we want to do here is create a mask, a layer mask. So I'm going to use some text to create that layer mask. So I'm going to use the text tool. I'm going to start typing in some text here. Now I've chosen a quote from an artist named Henri Matisse. It's creativity takes courage. Great quote. And we're going to take it and look where it disappeared. It's gone now and I, I'm going to look at my layer menu and I notice that it's hiding between those two layers. So I'm going to drag it and move it up top. And now I've got my creativity takes courage layer above everything else that I can see it. Click on the text tool because I want to edit the text choices I'm making here. I'm going to take a look around at the font options that are here. I really like the Harrison choice. So I'm going to sit here for a second. It seems to be loading slowly, but really like that one. So I'm going to be patient. You'll notice that there's also some fonts that have a little uh, crown icon to the right, that yellow crown icon. And what that means is that it's a premium feature. You can't use that unless you're paying for your Pixlr services. So you can see it's still loading because my mouse cursor is locked right there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to shrink the text box a little bit so it all fits. I'm going to try to enlarge as much as I can to fill the space. Let's get rid of that ad for a sec. Bring that as big as I can get it. You'll see why this will help in a, in a bit. I'm going to try to lock that into the middle, try to get it about into the middle of the, of the frame there. And so now I have a layer of text that says creativity takes courage. Make sure my spelling is correct there. I have a color background layer and I have a black and white background layer. What I'd like to do at this point is do something called rasterizing the layer. Because in order to create this mask, the mask won't work with just the text in Pixlr. It has to, we have to convert that layer of text into kind of like an image type layer. And that's through the process of rasterizing. So I right click the text layer. I see the option of rasterize layer. So I click on that. And now it has turned it into an image layer. You can see that on the on the layers menu. And so at this point, I can no longer edit the text. I can't change spellings. I can't change font styles. Um, but I can do the uh, layer masking now. So what I want to do is take a, my go to my background layer, look at the layer settings menu, go to blend mode, look all the way at the bottom, click on the word mask, and let's watch what happens. Okay, so now I've created a little ma layer mask where everything that was black in my text, let's go back for a sec, everything that was black is now a window. And I'm seeing through that window to the, col the color below it, but everything else is now hidden. Okay, so I have this creativity takes courage is no longer black. I'm using the layer below it to fill in the lettering. Now, I no longer see this black and white layer at all, but I'm going to show you how we get that back in a second. So at this point, what I do is I take my uh, layer that's my text layer and right click it again. I'm going to go here to this icon that says Merge Down, and I'm going to click that. All right, so what that did was it combined the text layer with the uh, layer mask below it. And now I have that text layer that is color visible on top of the black and white background layer. That's also visible. It's a little tricky to see right now, though, and we're going to fix that up in a second as well. Um, but this is the basics of a, of a layer mask. 
what we can do to make this a little more visible is to put a little layer styling on the text layer by going to filter and then outline. And then I can go through this process here of creating an outline. It can be black, it can be whatever color you like that you think is gonna look good. You can change the opacity of the entire layer uh, if you like, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. It also gives you the option for outline only, but I'm gonna leave it just like this with a black outline around the color that I've been showing through with my layer mask now. And that is how we create a layer mask in Pixlr can do that with any type of imagery, but for what this process is I just showed you here was uh, seeing through a text layer into color uh, with a black and white background behind it. That's a duplicate of the original layer. So that is a layer mask in Pixlr. And at this point you can go to file and save and then export this as a JPEG or a PNG or save it as a PXD for yourself if you would like to continue working on it. And that's it.